Simmons development or Sean McVay's system? I don't think it's fair, Skip, to say just he's a product of the system. Clearly, the kid has talent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and... and, and McVay believes in, and the system is very conducive to what he does well. Sean McVay wants to push the ball down the field. Well, Jerry Goff has a big arm, mm -hmm. and he can push the ball down the field. But let me tell you who else is a system quarterback. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. Everybody, every quarterback has a system that's conducive to what they do really well. Tell you another guy with a little system guy, Shannon Sharp. It just so happens I went to the one team, Skip, the Denver Broncos drafted me. Three teams had an H-back. Washington, San Diego, and the Denver Broncos. Now, what if Cincinnati? What if Seattle? What if another team drafts Shannon Sharp that doesn't have that position mm -hmm. and doesn't take the time and says, okay, well, we, we can see what this guy can do. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, Dan Reeves had the H-back system, gave me a little rep. Wade Phillips gets the job in 92, Jim, uh, 93, mm -hmm. brings in Jim Fossil. Jim Fossil calls me into his office, mm -hmm. looking at after he says, son, I broke down tape. I'm going to build my offense around you. Who builds the offense around a tight end skip in the 90s? Mm. So I was a systems guy. But Jerry Goff is a damn good football player. There's a reason why he rated so high, and mm -hmm. he was the number one pick in the draft. Now he has a system. He has a coach that has a system that says, okay, Jerry, this is what you do well. If you notice, there's not a whole lot of quick throws. A lot of stuff is off play action. Mm -hmm. Rolls over. He's pushing the ball down the field to Brandon Cooks. He's throwing the ball down the field to Robert Woods. And that's what you need to have, Skip. I, I, I think Sean McVay deserves a hell of a lot of credit because he pulled what Jerry Goff is good at. Because a lot of times, Skip, this is my system. This is what I'm – and uh, before I go, a lot of coaches, offensive mind coaches, they have a quarterback in place, a young quarterback – and what do you hear him say, Skip? Oh, I can maximize his ability. Oh, I'm going to get so much out of that guy, mm -hmm. and he'll do nothing. I'm sure a 31-year-old Sean McVay walked in there, sat down with Les, Les Snead and Kevin Dimoff, mm -hmm. and said, you know what? I can. You have a talent here. This kid is extremely talented. Sure. He just needs the, the right makeup around him, mm -hmm. and we can go places. Yep. Let's see. He said, okay. Lo and behold, what did they do? Well, they already had Todd Gurley in place. And then they started putting pieces around him, Skip. Okay, we're going to trade for Brandon Cooks. Okay, we're going to go out and sign Andre Whitworth. Okay, we're going to get this guy. And lo and behold, you have a, a top five offense. And Skip, he pushes the ball down the field. He uh, throws 20 yards down the field. He's fifth in completion mm. percentage. I'm not going to tell you where your guy at. Mm. But you know who your guy is. Who is my guy? And you know your guy. I don't know. He was in the same draft. Oh, he should have uh -huh. gone first no, 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 in no, that no, draft. Skip. Yes. That guy? Skip. My guy should have gone number one overall because yep. my guy has outplayed Jared Goff every time they have met, including the first preseason well, I, game. I, I, I don't know. How many, play, how many playoff wins your guy got? What about the mm. wins, though? The mm. win column. How many yeah. My guy got 60 touchdowns. Mm. Your guy got 60 touchdowns? Who had better QBRs <laughs> in the two games that they met, a playoff game and last year's regular season game? Hey, yeah, mm -hmm. Skip, oh, hold on. You told Is that me, the question? No, no, no. You told, what did you no. tell me, Skip? You told me just a, <laughs> just. An mm. hour earlier, mm. winning is the only thing that matters. That's what you just told me, Skip. Dak can't play defense. Oh my God, he should. But I don't want. I don't want you if people. And we do far too much of that. Oh, it's the system. There have been a lot of guys that's been in systems that couldn't play, and the system didn't matter. I believe Jerry Goff is in a great system. Mm. Has a great head coach that believes in him. Mm. But this kid is immensely talented, Skip. Mm. By the way. Tom Brady is the system. <laughs> do, do you know how many times he checks out of plays? That's Tom Brady. How, you, That's not how, the system. how did Jimmy Garoppolo look in that system? I'm sorry. How did Matt Castle look in that system? How did Jacoby Brissett look in that system? You keep telling me, but I keep seeing guys do the same thing. Blips, not trends. Oh, no, no, no. Like how we know? Blips. System. How we know? Blips. Well, Coach Belichick thought it was going to be a trend. He wanted Jimmy G. Yeah. And where would Coach Belichick be right now if he had gotten his way? He'd be home in the Super Bowl, watching. In the Super Bowl right mm -hmm. now. Okay. Probably had two more wins. <sighs> Back to Jared Goff. So, for the record, before that draft, I liked him. I endorsed him as the first overall pick, but I never loved him. He didn't knock me over, and I didn't know enough about your man, Carson Wentz. I just I saw the championship game they played in, but I couldn't really draw a bead on him. Right. And I, I couldn't take a stand because 
measurables. Carson Wentz had all the measurables, but I just wasn't quite sure about him. I saw him in the All-Star games. Whatever. But but this guy, he, he can play. He's got he's got athletic ability and he's got a big arm. Yes. And his father was a major league baseball player, and I always like bloodlines because it just helps. Yep. It, your your brother helped you some. He showed you the way. He gave you confidence that if he can do it, I can do it. I like that. My I, dad had good bloodlines. Okay. He was a Sky Capital Hera. Was he? Did that help me? Well, I guess I could catch. I guess I could catch I football. He caught bags. No, but it helped that you had a big brother who, <laughs> who was really good. Yes. Right. Yes. True. So, and it always helps. You can always see anybody who grew up like a coach's son or whatever. Yes. That that always gives you a head start. So, yeah. in this case, he had a little bit of a head start, and he got trapped under Jeff Fisher and his offensive coordinator was somebody named Rob Boris, who is now the Bills' tight end coach. I I don't know Rob Boris. Forgive me. I don't mean to offend him, he but, but Scott. It, no, he's not. He wishes, right? <laughs> he, he wishes. But but again, this kid winds up with that. A defensive-based football team and a head coach who does not like young quarterbacks who destroyed Vince Young's career, in my humble estimation. Yeah. And Jared Goff went 0-7 that year as the starter of Jeff Fisher's Rams. He threw five touchdowns to seven interceptions. And then you know the rest of the story. Sean McVay has been a godsend for this kid because I believe this kid is pretty good, but I don't believe he's as good as Sean McVay has made him. Okay. Because... I'm not saying he's a product of the system. He's a product of Sean McVay because, to me, Sean McVay gave him his confidence, right. gave him his charisma, gave him his swagger. I read an interesting note the other night at that opening night, the big interview session that was on the NFL Network. Jared Goff obviously had a big audience around him, and I read that there are a number of times during – it goes for about an hour, as you well know right. – and that, that there were a number of awkward pauses during the Jared Goff interview because people just ran out of things to ask because he was so short-spoken in his yes. answers. Right. And he's not very interesting. He's a nice kid, but he right. doesn't have a lot to say. Right. So it would just fall flat, and people would be looking around like, you got a question? I don't have a question, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. And it's just embarrassing because the Brady interview or whatever, it just flows right. and goes, and, and people are still yelling questions when they say, time, time's right. up, right? But you got 19 years of questions with Brady. Okay, yeah. you do, but, but I got it. But with this kid, he's, he's again, he's a good kid, and yet, is he a natural-born leader? Is he the dynamic personality who's taken over? Nope, he's not that guy, but that coach is. Yeah. The coach has got swagger. Yeah. The coach wore jeans the other night to opening night. Yes. Bill Belichick came in a coat and tie, which was shocking to me because I it's been a long time since like I saw him. Out his backpack I, too. I agree. No, I agree. <laughs> I, I'm I'm with you. Was, but here's Sean McVay, uh, and, yeah. and everybody's got on the the bottoms, the sweat bottoms yep. to go with the sweat top. He's got on jeans. Yep. And he's got the the gelled hair, yeah. and he's got the hot girlfriend who's yeah. all over Instagram, and, and he's cool. <laughs> he's got high cool factor, yes. and and it's translated to his quarterback. Mm -hmm. So my favorite play of Peyton Manning's uh, on that detail where he breaks down the two oh, championship yep. games. He mm -hmm. broke down Jared Goff's championship game at New Orleans, mm -hmm. and the play he fixated on was the one the, where where Jared Goff's fiddling with his knee pads a mm -hmm. little bit. And he's waiting and he's waiting. And then he has to start telling everybody what to do because they couldn't hear, right. and they keep passing it mm -hmm. up and down the line. Mm -hmm. And the, the, Peyton Manning is making the point. Sean McVay is telling him right up to the clock, "Let's do that. Let's switch to this." Like he's talking him all the way up to the end of the mm -hmm. clock. Right. Let's do this, and you're going to do this. And he dropped back and threw an out pass for a big first down to Brandon Cooks. Right. Well, he's just in his ear all the way. Seriously, do you it's how, long do you, how, how long do you think Josh McDaniels is in Tom Brady's ear? Not very long. Wait, Skip, if you remember that when Tom Brady completed the pass, he's running up the sideline and he's telling Josh McDaniels, I got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't send anybody. Don't change the personnel. Yep. Let's keep what we got right here. Well, that's Tom Brady. I know. And, and okay. the thing is, what people don't understand, it's hard to do your job when someone is constantly talking to your <laughs> ear. And that's what I was trying Unless to... Unless you need somebody to right. talk. Because Jared Goff's been quoted as saying... He, he calls the play with such authority and confidence, like he, he oh, loves to hear it. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it sounds good in yeah. his ear. You buy it. Remember the, the big timeout before the big third and seven play that right. basically ended the Cowboy playoff game right. at the Rams? Yes. And the, he, he called that rollout, right. that bootleg, you know, and he just told him, if Tyler Higby's open, you're going to give it to him. But if, if, if you see it and you feel it, you, you run with it because right. you might be able to get this right. with your legs. Right. So he's, he's talking him through it. 
and you know how it feels good in your ear when you, you got somebody you completely yeah. believe in. Man, when, when your coaches believe in you. I remember Dan Reeves, when he called me in his office, Skip, all our tight ends, Clance K, Orson Mobley, mm -hmm. Chris Furholz, who decided it was plan B with no free agents and yep. plan B back then, mm -hmm. had gotten hurt. And he called me in his office, and he told me, you know, would I, would I mind switching the tight end? I was like, am I going to get an opportunity to play? He's like, sure, but you're going to have to learn the plays. Mm. He says, he say, and you say, say, son, you are too big, too fast, too mm -hmm. strong mm -hmm. not to make a living in this league. Yeah. Dan Reeves played in the NFL. He coached under Coach Tom Landry. He had gone to a several, three Super Bowls before Shannon Sharp even set foot in the NFL. When was the championship game in the ice bowl? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And and, yeah. and, uh, and so for him to have mm -hmm. him say that, yeah. clearly, I'm like, this man knows something. He does. He thinks that much of me. Yeah. Sean McVay, the way he calls the plays mm -hmm. and the authority in which yep. he calls them, yep. you know he's confident. Okay, he's telling you, now, we're going to call this play. But if it's not there, mm -hmm. I got confidence in you that you're going to go get us this first mm -hmm. down and you're going to win mm -hmm. us this game. So in that way, he's an extension of Sean McVay. Obviously, he has ability, yes. big ability. Yes. But, but it just, it, it was, it, it put him on the map. It made him to have this guy calling his plays for him. The same thing that Sean McVay yeah. is doing for Jerry Gall, yeah. Bill Belichick did for Tom Brady. You know why, Skip? Because when Drew Brees got, Drew mm -hmm. Bledsoe got healthy, mm -hmm. He didn't go back to him. No. He said, I believe in you. I believe in the sixth round okay. kid in his second year. Yeah, I'll buy that. But he's not calling plays. No, 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 no. He don't call the plays. He's got no. a few more years experience, yeah. too. Mm. But just to reflect on the fact that we were calling him a bust, Goff, and he has now made it to a Super Bowl. I mean, Super that's Bowl. a pretty incredible turnaround well, well, for the kid. Was he in that? Hold on. Was Dak in that draft? Yeah, yeah it was. Mm. Different, different discussion, different day. Dak is great different yes, discussion. Because he's a fourth-round pick who's a, a Pro Bowl player. The potential. Two Pro Bowls. You're right. How can you, the only difference how can is you explain nobody, that? Nobody from Brady's draft went to the oh. Super Bowl. Oh, really? No quarterback went to the Super Bowl. It's time for some goat talk.